when I when I set out to buy, to collect and buy and sell televisions, I mean I have to say I'm a, I'm a dealer, not a collector. Um, I knew obviously knew that the pre-war televisions were important to collect. Post-war, I really hadn't got any idea what to collect, but I thought television design must be important. There were no books on the subject, but there are actually more televisions in the world now than there are chairs in the world. And when you think about it, the number of books there are just on chairs and design of chairs would fill a room with no space to, met, to, sink, to have any air in it. When I produced my first book on televisions, historic television and video recorders, it was, astonishingly, both the worst book in the world on television design and the best. It was the only book in the world on television design. <laughs> it was the most extraordinary fact of that book I can produce. I was just totally staggered. There are books on absolutely everything, from Victorian coffin fittings to even the squiggles that hold down the railways on sleepers. But no one had written a book on television design. And televisions have, have impacted every form. Every single corner. Television is the fundamental technology that underpins the 21st century. Without television, you have 19th century technology. It doesn't matter where you look. It doesn't matter if you look at security systems, space travel, road traffic management. Absolutely everything is, requires television as its core technology. The Hubble telescope, it would be a brass Victorian telescope without television. Aeroplanes would be back in the biplane era, era without television. And of course you would have no radar without television. It goes right the way through every single fundamental thing. It doesn't matter where you look. A microscope today has television. You don't look down at a Victorian microscope, you look on a television screen. You can expand a television screen exponentially pretty well to get deep, finer and finer details, in any case, a number of lines you put in, whereas there's a limit to what you can do optically. That is why the Hubble telescope is so brilliant. And this is high diff. This television set is obviously a top design icon. It was one of the ones I had, it was one of the, once I found out about it, it's one of the must-have ones. Uh, the, it was designed by the designer of the Citroen DS in 1958. It's French, the Teleavia. Um, you can angle the, the, the screen round any way you like. In fact, it looks very much like a car headlamp. Um, has sort of, uh, for those who like space comics, it looked like various things that were coming from the 1950s in the space comic, like Dan Dare and other such people. Um, interestingly enough, this set also has high definition on it. Um, the French introduced the fir world's first high definition service in 1949, 819 lines. Uh, it, it, it didn't work. Nobody bought the set, so they came down to a much lower definition. I forget what it is, 590, 525 lines, something like that. But this one actually has the facility for the high definition, which makes it a very rare set indeed. I've had four, and they were difficult to track down. <laughs>